2018 CDL General Knowledge Exam, practice, study questions, and answers. What is reaction time? It's the distance your vehicle travels from the time your brain signals your foot to move from the accelerator to actually pushing on the brake pedal. For a front tire, the minimum tread depth is 4 30 seconds of an inch. There are how many classes of hazardous materials? Nine. When driving a vehicle with a retarder system, when should a driver consider turning off that system? When road conditions are icy and wet. When a helper is helping you back up your vehicle, what is the most important hand signal that the two of you should agree on? Stop. How is battery fluid classified? Corrosives. What does the acronym GVW stand for? Gross Vehicle Weight. What is the minimum number of warning triangles that you should carry in your vehicle? Three. Is it true that underinflated tires can cause a fire? Yes. If you are ticketed for speeding by law enforcement and later found guilty, with respect to your employer, what are you responsible to do? Within 30 business days, the CDL holders are required to notify their employers of convictions for traffic violations, not including parking violations. What effect on braking distance does doubling your speed have? Two times the speed is equal to four times the stopping distance. How far ahead of your vehicle should you be looking when you are driving? 12 to 15 seconds. With respect to the overhead clearance of your vehicle, is it true that your vehicle's clearance can change with the load that you are carrying? Yes. Is it true that a person's blood alcohol content is determined by how much alcohol is consumed, how quickly the alcohol is consumed, and the weight of the person who is consuming the alcohol? Yes. What is perception distance? It's the distance your vehicle travels from the time you actually see a hazard until your brain is aware of it. During a trip, should you inspect your vehicle's brakes, gauges, lights, cargo, and coupling devices? Yes. Not far ahead of your vehicle, you spot a shoe box sized object in the lane that you are traveling. What should you do? If it is safe to do so, you should steer around it. If you are in a situation where you have to stop very quickly, you should use your brakes so that your vehicle will stay in a straight line and you can steer. If your vehicle starts to hydroplane, what should you do? You should release the accelerator. Is it true that while driving in hot weather, you should be inspecting 
your tires more often. Yes. With respect to double clutching and shifting, is it true that by listening to the sound that the engine makes, you can tell when it's time to shift? Yes. How is a rear wheel acceleration skid corrected? You should stop accelerating and push in the clutch. What is a consequence of having a vehicle loaded in such a way that not enough weight is on the front axle of the vehicle? Poor traction. What is stab braking? It pertains, it's braking that pertains to locking the wheels with the brakes. What is controlled braking? Controlled braking is applying the brakes as hard as you can without locking them. Ahead of you, you see a vehicle with a sign on the rear of it. The sign is a red triangle with an orange center. What does it mean? It means a slow moving vehicle. Is it true that the key principle in balancing cargo weight is to keep the load centered? Yes. Is it true that the parking brake should be tested while the vehicle is moving slowly? Yes. When a straight vehicle goes into a front wheel skid, is the following true? In the above situation, the vehicle will go straight even if the steering wheel is being turned. Yes. What is the most common cause of serious vehicle skids? Driving too fast for road conditions. What is the fewest number of tie downs that you have to use for a small load? Two. Is it true that cargo can shift should is it true that cargo which can shift should have at least two tie downs? Yes. When driving during a trip, when should you conduct cargo inspections? An inspection should be performed at every break during your trip. Not including your vehicle's front tires, what is the minimum tread depth requirement for all other tires on your vehicle? Two thirty seconds of an inch. It's best not to drive through flowing water or puddles, but if you have to, what should you do to keep your brakes working? While driving through the water, press gently on the brake pedal. When should you use your high beams? When it's legal and safe. You are the driver of a heavy vehicle. Is it true that you should avoid backing it whenever you can? Yes.